Hi folks, uh, back again, uh, Bathrobe Chronicles 112 Part 2. And anyway, so this fellow sort of uh, took me to task and said I was a moron and that energy healing, in fact, works. Okay, here's the deal. Uh, uh, Mr. Randy, uh, who is a magician by trade, if you will, uh, has been most likely touring the world for 30 or 40 years. And and he's had this prize available. I think it started out at $10,000. It's now $1 million. And, and this is there for anyone who can prove any of this stuff. Prove they're a psychic, prove energy healing works, uh, I mean, any of that stuff, okay? Anything like that. One million smackaroonies. And he's, uh, I'm not sure how long he's had the million, I know it's been quite a few years, but he's had something there for most likely 40 years. And as I said, Mr. Randy travels the world. If you guys haven't been to his site, you need to go there. It's R-A-N-D-I dot org. Uh, so, I think what I'm going to title this, this number one, 112 is... Uh, if it works, prove it. I think that's what I'm going to sort of, you know, have for the title up there. Now, energy healing is, as I said, it, it, it's all the same, just different names and so-called different techniques, whatever that means. Some of them, they actually touch you. Some of them, they just go like this and on and on and on. Uh, unfortunately, or sadly, as pathetic as I am, I'm not even, I didn't even look this one up tonight, but I'm going to tell you one that I've uh, mentioned before and and this is and, and this is really a, a, a great story I think uh, there there's a young lady I think she's now most likely 19 or 20 or 21 but at the time this young lady was uh, 9 or 10 years old and I'm almost positive her name is Emily Rosa R-O-S-A now if also if I remember correctly excuse me her mom, I know this is a fact, her mom is a registered nurse. And I believe that at the time this happened, the event I'm going to tell you about, they were living in Colorado, I believe. And her mom uh, was really ticked off at the uh, Nurses Association over this therapeutic touch crap, which I've mentioned several times before. But real briefly, this is an energy healing modality. I love it when they use that, I'll tell you. Uh, that nurses use, and supposedly 40,000 or more nurses have been trained. It's called therapeutic touch, but there's no actual touching. You know, you lay the person out, and you, you go like this, and all that kind of crap, and you, you know, you get the energy going again through the meridians, blah, 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 blah. Our registered nurses, ladies and gentlemen, are out there doing this BS. Anyway, Emily's mom, as I best remember, was all ticked off at the Colorado's nurses, uh, Colorado Nurses Association, excuse me, and was writing all these letters to them saying, you know, this is a, a sham, a fraud, and, 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 you know, we shouldn't be involved in this kind of stuff. Uh, so Emily, as I said at the time, was like nine or ten years old, and you, you guys are going to love this if you haven't heard it before. She had a school science project. Now, she knew her mom was ranting and raving about this therapeutic touch. So Emily, at the age of 9 or 10, decided her science project was going to be testing therapeutic touch. Okay, what Emily did is, now, now most of these energy healing people, uh, you know, they claim they can tell how much power you have, how much energy you have, or whatever, and... Uh, so what she did is she had a, I believe it was a piece of plywood, really didn't make any difference what it's made out of. Anyway, she had this board so people could sit on one side and not see what was going on on the other side. And she cut two armholes or hand, you know, holes so that you could put your hands through. I think she had 21 proficient therapeutic touch folks. In other words, these were people who had been doing this baloney for a long time. You know, it wasn't someone that she grabbed off the street. These supposedly were experienced people. So, 
What Emily decided was she didn't even want them to, to try and say how much energy was going on or anything else in the person. She wanted them to be able to identify that there was a person, you know? Not how much energy, that there was a person. Now, obviously, if a person can, like, do some weird stuff and tell how much energy you have, surely they can tell if there's a person over there. So what Emily did with the flip of a coin and some other kind of stuff, you know, to make it legitimate, uh, is Emily would, would have a hand uh, either here or here, and the therapeutic touch people would put their hands in, and they were supposed to say whether there was a person, so to speak, here, or a person, so to speak, here. Anyway, make a long story short. It ended up, it was less than chance. In other words, it was, you know, chance, I guess, would be 50-50. It was less than chance. I think it was somewhere in the 40% or whatever. Now, uh, they didn't let it go at that. Uh, I don't know. I, well, you know, I'm sure a lot of you have most likely heard of the Journal of the American Medical Association, JAMA, I believe they use as the acronym, you know, which is a big deal. I think that and the New England something or another of medicine are two, my understanding, prestigious medical journals in our country. So, Emily and her mom sent this off to JAMA, and it was published. This is a nine or ten year old girl who did a science experience, uh, experiment, excuse me, project uh, when she was nine or ten years old. And, uh, daggone it, the battery's running out. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm running out of time anyway. Be right back. Thanks, folks.